of the olive, the pressure that comes in, that he knew, he said, Father, if there'd be any way that this cup could pass for me, he, he asked for deliverance, but then he quickly said, not my will, but thy will be done. And as we were praying that the Father's will be done in our life, you know, not my will, but thy will be done. It was occurred to me that the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, had said that he was going to present us to, to Jesus as a companion of like nature and ability, created to rule and reign now and forevermore, that that's the working of the Holy Spirit to conform us into a companion of like nature and like ability. And he says, I'm going to bring you before without spot or wrinkle. And that we know that the spot remover that takes all the blemishes away from us is the blood of the Lamb of God. It taketh away every stain of sin, every memory of sin. Many of us have thought, well, Lord, I, I know that you have forgiven me, but we haven't forgiven ourselves. And so we keep a stain. We begin to do kind of like what Judas did when Judas went back and returned the money and says, I've betrayed innocent blood and they said what's that to do with us and he ran out and he hung him he killed himself because his thinking had to be my sin is greater than god's love and peter who basically did the same thing that judas did but he repented and he became the head of the church so sin is not a problem with god he says i'm gonna give you the blood of the lamb of god that taketh away not just covereth but taketh away the sin of the world so you're justified we used to say, I'm just as if I'd never sinned, but the reality is when you become a new creature, you haven't sinned because you've received a new life source. You're not a sinner, you're a saint. And the memories that come, the Lord says, I'm going to bring pressure into your life so that the wrinkles of the memories of I've done this and this and this and this, he says, I'm going to press out your identity with the Adamic nature. So to be without spot and without blemish and without a wrinkle, Remember, the blood takes care of the shame, and the name takes care of, of, of all of the sin. But the reality is the pressure that we go through in life, all of the trials and testing of our faith are to press out the wrinkles that have to do not with demons, but have to do with memories. You know, because the, the Lord says, let your mind be set upon God. You know, think on these things, whatsoever things are lovely and pure and true, the any virtue be if any praise. So all of us know that the kingdom of God is a kingdom of words. We've been taught that. The value of the words that we speak. You're either going to summon the goodness and righteousness of God with your positive confession or you're going to summon hell. The enemy is waiting for you to complain. He's waiting for you to find fault. He's waiting for you to say, I'm sick, I'm down, I'm out. And God is saying, I'm just waiting for these things that are pressing you to press my word out of you instead of yours, that you can say, nevertheless, not my will, but the will of God be done. And what an incredible place we could be in to say, let the pressures of life bring out of me, not bitterness, not gall, not complaining, not that. When pressure comes in and things aren't going according to what you like or what you want, remember that's the voice of Adam that's trying to rise up. And the Lord has said, let me press that out of you. So when something pushes your button, what comes out is Jesus and not Adam. Does that make sense to yep. you? Praise the Lord.